it is May 15th, so there's one week left of winter in the final week. And as evidence that it's not over yet, we had the either the biggest or maybe the second biggest snowstorm so far of the year. There's been over a foot already. And the forecast says there's going to be another four to six inches. Um, oh boy. It's blowing snow. So this is what it's like right now. And the, this is, I guess, the, the final update for this winter. And i um, still doing great on wood supplies. And hopefully a lot of this snow will melt in the next week. But um, there's still a ways to go before the warmer springtime growth and everything. Yeah, one sign of new life here in the chicken coop the chickens are all nice and warm in their insulated area as it's snowing and frozen outside so coco here this brown chicken who uh, was born in the most recent generation so she's less than a year old um, she's been sitting on these eggs for about a week now. And they're speedy. She likes the attention. She jumped up on my shoulder earlier this morning. This is the first time in a while she had done that. Though they'll jump on my back sometimes when I lean over. It's less common that they'll jump on my shoulder. But she's very friendly. Aren't you, girl? Yes, very friendly. So, um, the one issue with this situation here is that Coco gets up and the other chickens continue to lay eggs there so it's harder to keep track of which eggs are have been sat on for a while and which eggs are new and then a bunch of eggs build up so I've been trying to separate out the newer eggs, but it's not always easy. And then also, that sometimes there's a gap in between when she gets up and the others sit there and then she comes back. So it's not clear if um, if it'll be successful uh, as, far as, as far as new chicks. But she's doing a great job and uh, practicing her motherly instincts. And she's the first one since Spot, who's no longer with us, to sit on any eggs but it is pretty early in the season and because of the temperature it also makes it uh, more of a challenge to sit on the eggs because um, it's harder to keep them warm when the ambient temperature is cooler compared to when it's a bit warmer in the later spring but anyways I'll keep you all updated on that I think the due date would be in uh, early to mid April if she's if she's successful, probably early April, I think. Um, so that's all the update from the chicken coop. Oh, they're giving me uh, like eight eggs a day. And I'm eating all of those every day. And so primarily, I'll eat like one feast meal every day. I'll feast until the after. I mean, I'll fast until the afternoon. And then I'll have an egg feast with some fried bread. And it'll just stuff me up so much. And with the best nutrient... So they're, uh, they're the prim primary, the majority of my diet is coming from, uh, coming from the chicken eggs, and I feel great uh, with that source of nutrient. And uh, that's all for now. The chickens are making a big fuss. I saw something moving in this tree over there. I'm not sure if it's still there, but I think I found the predator. Oh, it must have flown away. Or no, maybe it's still up there. Some big predatory bird. Perhaps a eagle or a hawk. But it was right at the top of that tree there. And the chickens were all freaking out. It came outside and saw it moving its wings. And it was perched up there. 
but it looks like it flew away now because I don't see it. I have my glasses on so I couldn't get the best look at it, but I guess an eagle. So it could have been a hawk. Anyways, that's likely. What a great what a great hunting spot for it to be able to hunt chicken in the courtyard. And I'm guessing that's what got the last chicken. Perhaps even more than one. But uh, interesting, clearing out the courtyard prevents from the ground predators, but it makes them more open from the airborne predators. But I could tell from the distressed sound of the chickens that something was wrong. So I have been alerted. I've noticed what uh, what the predator that is feeding upon them, at least most recently, I believe, was. So take precautionary precautionary measures. You can see right here, this is the foundation of the future citadel. It's got some tubes in there for airflow. So once I build up that tire wall, I'll have some air intakes. Anyways, that's all. This is Belaga. She's an old girl. She was starting to get picked on by some of the younger chickens. So, um... I decided to bring her into the greenhouse here and um, let her retire in here. Not sure how long she's going to live for. She's getting pretty old. But for the time being, she's got an upgraded, upgrading living space right near the fire where it's warmer and she's got no one to pester her. It's the first day of spring, and uh, Bella guy here passed away last night. It's pretty easy to tell for the chickens. They have some very clear signs when they're getting closer to death, including their eyes turning orange and them becoming very lethargic. So she made it to the very end of winter, and um, she wasn't uh, wasn't a spring chicken. But she got to spend the rest of her days here in the warmth in the greenhouse and unmolested by the other chickens. And I got to give her a little extra love and attention in her final days. So rest in peace, Bella Gaw. Good morning, chickens. The rest of the chickens in here are all doing good. The first day of spring. And, uh... The eggs over there that Coco's been sitting on, I'm thinking they're probably not having a very high chance of hatching because they've just probably gotten too cold. And um, yeah, that's my guess. But uh, usually she is on them. But um, they're like one week away from potentially hatching, but I would say the likelihood is rather low at this point. So it's the uh, first day of spring today, and so I figured it would, uh, well I should put out the last winter update video, and um, other than the chickens and the firewood, that's kind of the main, the main updates. Everything is still very snowy. I want to do some projects over there with some rock walls and stuff when it melts, but so far I haven't really made any progress, and on the, the one project of the sauna... I didn't really make any progress on it. I haven't been too motivated to uh, do much work during the winter time. But now that it's spring, I'm already starting to feel that spring energy and getting excited for new projects. So basically got through the, the these two pallets of wood and then this one got through basically like half of this big pile of wood which was underneath this platform. So. If I had to guess, I would say there's about a cord left, and I probably went through about two cords. A cord is four foot by four foot by eight foot. Um, so something like that. I probably went through two or maybe a little over two, and there's probably one or maybe a little over one left. So I got more firewood this year than any year before, and paid less money than any year before because I did it all myself. And, uh, and the living space performed even better. Um, this year because of the greenhouse renovation, which, uh, is right next to the fire place and, um, a lot less heat is lost through the ceiling of the greenhouse now. 
So then another project that's going to be one of the first ones I want to do is digging out this tunnel here so that this tunnel will connect through all that dirt to a terrace on the front side. But I've got to wait for things to melt. So even though it's the first day of spring, things are still uh, rather snowy and cold. But that's all for the update for the final winter update. And... Um, We'll see, I might do another update somewhat soon about um, about Bitcoin Cash and Cash Tokens, and then maybe one also about the macroeconomics and the geopolitics and stuff like that, as there's lots of stuff going on. But that's all from here for now.